don't want nuance, I want bold colors, red, white, and blue. America, I have seen, Mega Dagan, the last several decades absolutely fray and decline. When I saw those guys on the boats, on their knees, I mean, that says a picture about America that I haven't seen ever before. He's woken up a group of people, Neil, that have gone ignored. And Donald Trump, to me, is the last hope for America. This country has such potential. I love the country. You have to have heart. You have to take care of women's health issues. You have to take care of poor people that don't have, that they're never going to have a shot. And you have to take care of African-American youth who have never been in a worse position than they are right now. We are standing up for America and for the American people. There's a group of people in America that feel like they've been ignored. I know that for a fact. They feel like this country has let them down and the left has hijacked, and some of the right has hijacked our nation. So this is what Donald Trump answers to. It's not anger, it's love of country. And they've all, all of the media is getting it wrong. You can't let the critics and the naysayers get in the way of your dreams. Adversity makes you stronger. Don't give in, don't back down, and never stop doing what you know is right. Nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. And the more righteous you fight, the more opposition that you will face. The people built this country, and it's the people who are making America great again. First jobs report of a full month of the Trump presidency showed the economy added 235,000 jobs in February. The unemployment rate dropped down to 4.7 percent. More jobs available than people available to fill them. Never seen that before. See that from the Atlanta Fed? They're predicting 4.8 percent growth for the economy. That's huge. If you've watched this program, you'll know we have a generational low for unemployment, an all-time low for African-American unemployment. That's historic. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Relish the opportunity to be an outsider. Embrace that label. Being an outsider is fine. Embrace the label. Because it's the outsiders who change the world and who make a real and lasting difference. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. North Korea is issuing a new warning to the United States. Korea warned of a super mighty preemptive strike. Getting a good picture, everybody, so we look nice and handsome and thin. And Beautiful. Nice and they will work toward the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Breaking news, the U.S. economy added 304,000 jobs last month. That was way ahead of expectations, and it was despite a record-breaking government shutdown. Over the course of your life, you will find that things are not always fair. You will find that things happen to you that you do not deserve and that are not always warranted. But you have to fight, fight, fight. We are all Americans, and we are all united by one shared destiny. So I'm asking everyone to join this incredible world. I'm asking you to dream big again. Dream bold, big and bold. Dream big and bold and daring. President Trump has ordered the Pentagon to pull all U.S. troops out of Syria. We can make our community safer, our family stronger, our culture richer, our faith deeper, and our middle class bigger and more prosperous than ever before. Alarmed by the new calls to adopt socialism in our country. America was founded on liberty and independence and not government coercion, domination, and control. We are born free and we will stay free. America will never be a socialist country, but we must reject the politics of revenge, resistance, and retribution, and embrace the boundless potential we must choose between greatness or gridlock. 
results or resistance, vision or vengeance, incredible progress or pointless destruction. Tonight, I ask you to choose greatness. I am asking all citizens to embrace this renewal of the American spirit. Seize this moment. Believe in yourselves. Believe in your future. And believe once more in America. I will fight for you with every breath in my body. And I will never, ever let you down. The forgotten man and the forgotten woman. You're not forgotten anymore.